Let's go outside. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. My name is Cabernet. I live in Japan, and this is a Japanese grocery haul. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more of my life in Japan, follow me over on Instagram at Whitaker's Way. I'm super active over there. I think I post like every day. So if you would love Japan or you like Japan or you're interested in Japan, follow me on Instagram. Alright guys, so let's get right into this grocery haul. Um, amount spent was like, I think 120 bucks. Um, it was around a, roughly 120 bucks. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the overview. And you can see this cord right here because I need more light in my kitchen. Because it's already nighttime. It gets dark super early here. So yeah, that's the overview and let's talk about it. So I'm going to talk about the shrimp first. Um, these were on sale. Well, for Japan, it was on sale. These were these are fresh and they're already deveined. And how many pieces do you get? 21 pieces. And I'm gonna cook some shrimp fried rice right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and these are frozen. So I'm going to defrost them. So let me open them up, put them in some water, and continue on with what I bought from the store. New I bought was some Nutella because I want to try it. I want to try it on some rice cakes as a low carb snack. Nuts on there and let's give it a try. This is good. Let me know if you have any low carb snack recommendations in the comments below. We have salad here. You guys know I love my salad. Bunch of that. Some croutons. I don't normally eat croutons, but I'm having guests over, so that will be in my salad. As well as this little bean baggie. It's so tiny, guys. It was like a dollar though. Okay, and then we have some bacon over here. Japanese bacon looks like ham. Then I was craving some Chinese food, so I'm going to make my own egg drop soup. This is an egg drop soup packet. Easy instructions on the back. Heat up an egg, add water, boil, and done. Then for my fried rice, I'm going to be using a bag of Melody Mix. I have some macaroni noodles. and These are vegetable noodles, believe it or not, and this is how I get my kids to eat more veggies. Then we have some regular penne noodles here. Cooks in three minutes. And these cook in nine minutes. Two things of broccoli, some kale. This is like the fastest grocery haul ever. I love sprouts. I think these are bean sprouts, right? Cabbage mix with a little bit of carrots. Let me know in the comments if you like bean sprouts. I love them. Then I have some, I think this is um freshly cut green onion for my for my um for my Chinese food I'm making and then I have here some blue berry jam a little tiny little container of soy sauce this is so tiny so cute I love these little rice cracker snacks number one yes it's so good as like just a snack on some extra virgin olive oil some magic salt this is really good on rice it's like those little sesame seeds I believe and they're so good Japanese dressing because I cleaned out the fridge this morning blue cheese I threw away all of my older uh, dressings because I just had too many and I didn't know uh, when did I buy what so I just threw everything away and then I have some Italian 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 dressing here as well then I bought some pesto oranges spam some royal milk tea this is actually for Sierra, so Sierra, if you're watching this girl, this is something I'm sending you. Hopefully you'll like it. Then we have some noodles here, individual packs, two different flavors, and green peppers for my salad. Mushrooms, I love mushrooms. It's like, it's like a replacement for steak, so I love me some mushrooms. Two avocados. Some garlic fried rice seasoning. I love these little SMB spice herb mixes. They're so good. And then this is another one of those, but just for veggies. Some eggs. I usually buy brown eggs, but this time I just bought the white. Some potatoes. I'm planning to have a big potato tomorrow. And guys, this little tiny bag with two, four, six potatoes in it. I swear to you, it was like three or four bucks. I'm pretty sure in America you can get a pound or something, or two pounds or five pounds for three or four bucks, right? Comment below if that's true. Then we have some yakisoba here. This is for Sierra. 
sitting in her box. Gotta get stuff for her. Some water. And this is like a curry set package with, with um, carrots, onions, and tomatoes. But, girl, I need more than that for curry. And then I don't have a rice maker. And I live in Japan. I don't eat that much rice anyway. So this is microwavable rice. So good. And it's only 180 grams per packaging. So I can really track how much I'm eating. So, oh yeah. Lastly, my kids, they love this pizza. So I bought them this, their favorite number one brand in Japan. <laughs> Cheese pizza. So good. To figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down. Alright, so here is the bag from the thrift store that I'll go over with you guys. This, oh yeah, by the way, I stopped at 7-Eleven and got some drinks. I'll show you that. This is my Daiso bag. Right here. And then Living Sweets is my reusable bag. Let me know if you use re reusable bags. If I have enough in the car, I try to use them, especially when grocery shopping. Uh, but I just paid like four four cents I think for each one of these bags but yeah if I remember I try to keep some bags in the car okay so first up here from the thrift store I just grabbed these leggings I think she threw these in for free these are from H&M and they're in a size medium to large so that's gonna be cute this is the whole entire haul from the thrift store. So as you can see, some items have the tag on it. So this one is like $2 or 200 yen. I have a French Bulldog, so this is perfect for my carpet. Then he has been having some accidents on the stairs because sometimes we don't take him out in time. So this one was 200 yen as well, which is like $2. And it's the training spray. So we have a lot of military here. So if they move PCS or anything like that, they drop their stuff off at the thrift store, which is great. So Diva Curl is not in Japan, but when I saw that this was posted at the thrift store, I had to get it. It was only $3, which is 300 yen here. And it's it's awesome that I found this. This is a steal because this all together should be like $15 to $20. Next up, we've been wanting a kite and Veterans Day just passed, but I found this one. We're American living in we're Americans living in Japan, so this is perfect. It was only 300 yen, which is like three dollars. Super long, wide, large kite. Um, so it says here, ready to fly, so no assembly needed. Great, bye. Next up here, we have a six-in-one magnetic game. Uh, I'm gonna teach the kids how to play checkers, and then they have some other board games in here, which I thought was great. And so this has no price tag on it, so I think she threw it in for free. Next up, I am a teacher, so I got these for my classroom or for my kids if they want to use it. Uh, food chain card games. My kids in my kindergarten class, they really love learning about animals, so I thought this was a great buy. And then I can work with Jordan and Adam with some addition cards, and this was free. So I thought it was great to add that to the cart. Everything that I paid here was $8 or 800 yen. Next up, we'll move over to 7-Eleven. If you follow me over on Instagram, you would see you would have seen the inside of my 7-Eleven. I also have an inside of a 7-Eleven video here on my channel, but my son and daughter really loves the grape tea. This is so good. Let me know if they have Lipton grape tea in America or wherever you're watching from. Next up from 7-Eleven, some apple mangoes. This is just a small, tiny bag. I might need it for a video that I'm filming later. And then this is just a reminder to drink your water. This is two liters. All right, that's the end of that bag. Make sure I save the bag. And here is my Daiso bag. All right, so I will be decorating my classroom with these. I'm gonna put them above uh, the students' work area because right now they have like some raindrops. So I'm just gonna switch it out for some snowflakes. These were found at our Daiso, which is our Japanese dollar store in Japan. And the only thing I don't like is that I'm going to have glitter everywhere when it comes to that. But it's so cute. I couldn't resist it. 
Then I grabbed the kids some non-breakable cups because they're always dropping my cups and breaking them. So just two little small cups. And then I grabbed myself some glass cups. They wrapped them up. I'll show you really quick what they look like. Just like, I don't know, rainbowish. I don't know if you can see the tint on it. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. I paid 200 yen for it and I like that cup. I don't know if I'm gonna use the rainbow tinted cup or if I'm gonna use for my fall video that I'm going to be filming later on today as a collaboration. So if I've already filmed that video, I'll try to link it down below so you can watch it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be sharing a favorite fall dessert. So if you wanna see that type of video, please keep watching or stay tuned for when it drops. Don't forget the notification so that you can be notified. So that's the end of my grocery haul. Hope you liked it. I have a video coming up soon about my hair. I don't know if it's already up or not, but if it is, check it out. If it's not, wait for it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me in the algorithm, helps other people who are looking for this type of content find my videos. And I appreciate you guys so, so much. And thanks for watching. Peace.